ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, this is Lord Nod at E3. The, this is day two. We are having a ball of a time. We are at the NVIDIA booth and we have a big surprise for you. You thought that gaming can only be done on your PC and it is on devices that are on your desktop and this. Well, think again. We right now have someone from NVIDIA going to tell us that using the grid, you can do far, far more. Hey, welcome to the show and tell us what you do. My name is Andrew. I'm a product manager for NVIDIA Grid and uh, I'm here to show off Grid. Uh, what it is is we take specialized graphics cards, we put it into server data centers like you see behind you, and it allows us to take high quality HD PC games and you can stream it, like I said, to any device. We can put it on NVIDIA Shield, we can put it on Android tablets, smartphones, Ouya game consoles, Mac, PC, whatever you want. And so it's kind of like that struggle of, boy, I really wanted to play Call of Duty or World of Warcraft on my device, but there's no, there's no client for it. Now there is. You put it in the cloud, stream it to whatever you want. So you see here, I'm actually running. This is our NVIDIA Shield. It's our open platform gaming device. I can actually stream any type of game here. I'm gonna launch up uh, one of my favorites, Super Street Fighter 4. Now you can get a full experience here, and this is all happening in the cloud. There's no desktop PC right here. It all happens to the servers behind you. Great, so basically, you just said, um Oh, my mind meant just wow. So I can play Call of Duty yes. on a tablet. Yeah, absolutely, yes, absolutely. In fact, if you want to walk over here, what we can show you is now, like you said, is maybe maybe your favorite game is Borderlands 2, and your problem is you could never get it on your Android tablet. Now with the cloud, again, all those those PC games you love, like Assassin's Creed, Dishonored, uh, Medal of Honor, even Borderlands 2, you can load them up now on any device you want. And you can see here, I'm gonna launch up Borderlands 2. I can take my really beautiful 14-hour battery life, you know, Android tablet with me wherever I want, and as long as I have a Wi-Fi connection or an internet connection, I can get access to high-quality PC gaming, whatever I want. And here it is, it's starting up right now. So I, and so guide me through this. I don't need to go ahead and have a, a, G, a great CPU here. No, you, you know, the whole beauty of cloud gaming is uh, all of your processing is happening elsewhere, so you don't need to have a, a large tower. We'd love to have you one, and we want all of your, everyone watching this to buy one of our GeForce uh, desktops, but you don't need it anymore. If you do it in the cloud, you can get HD quality games streamed to any device that you own. And this is, like I said, Borderlands 2 is a great example, extremely popular game, everyone loves it. You know, who would have thought you would have, you would have been able to get this quality of games on an Android tablet? Excellent, so tell us more about the games as such. Uh, do I own the games and I put my games on the cloud or do you own the games or do I rent the games? How does that model work? Well, what's happening is uh, we're working with a lot of our middleware partners uh, that write uh, cloud gaming software that's installed on our servers. And they're aggregating, they're buying all sorts of game content. They're making deals with publishers to be able to put games into the cloud and then allow consumers to sign up for a cloud gaming service. And uh, we're starting to see these deployments happen. Um, I'm not aware of yet of, uh, of cloud gaming happening in India, but I know we're talking to partners over there to do it. Uh, there is trials happening starting right now in France, uh, in Korea, and there's even trials starting in the U.S. And so I think, you know, the next six months to a year, you're going to see these cloud gaming networks start to appear more and more around the world. And it's definitely going to be something I think that gamers are going to get excited about because, you know, it's amazing to be able to start playing on one device, you save your game, you can walk over to the other device, start playing the save game where, exactly where you left off. That sounds such a brilliant idea. I, I personally love Borderlands, and I'd love to go ahead and play it on a little doohickey of a... Well, hey, look, you can see here it's the same experience as you would expect on a normal big giant PC. It all looks great. Yep. So, probably one last question leading into a more technical bit. How uh, Can you actually go do this on competitive gaming, too? On competitive gaming? Um, you know, you could. Uh, if you look at what we target for the end-to-end -end latency for cloud gaming, we're targeting about 120 to 125 milliseconds is our goal. Um, if you compare what a competitive gamer would, would get on a game console connected to a normal large screen television, um, they're usually getting on average about 150 to 160 milliseconds of latency. So we believe that cloud gaming with a, you know, a reasonably fast internet, you're going to be able to get the same experience as what you'd get on a game console. Okay, so some competitive question. Uh, how does this compare to, say, some Someone like OnLive. Well, OnLive actually was an initial um, one of our partners back in the day. Um, the difference of what happened, I think, we do OnLive and where we are with cloud gaming is that, you know, a lot of the services when they were first started for cloud gaming were taking off the shelf sort of standard desktop components, putting it into a server, and trying to make cloud gaming work. Um, you know, we recognized when they started doing this that we had to 
develop an architecture for them to be able to really do cloud gaming done right. And that's when we came out with uh, our NVIDIA Grid products. Uh, there are more GPUs, higher density in, of, of uh, streams in a server, better encoders for lower latency, uh, passively cooled because you don't want to have fans uh, usually operating in a server center. So the whole idea is that we're trying to build a platform so OnLive can use our hardware to deploy a better cloud gaming network. And that's what we're going to start to see. Excellent, excellent. So this is all about open partnerships. So this is ex excellent to go ahead and go forward. Um, a question on the way you want to go ahead and deploy the grid. Uh, is this a, a monthly subscription? Is this a one-time buy? Is this product-based? Well, what's going to happen is, um, in NVIDIA, we are going to sell our grid hardware to um, our partners that will then deploy that. Uh, most of our partners, what they're doing is they're adding it as an optional uh, monthly service fee. Kind of like, um, in the US, we have Netflix, we have Hulu, there's, uh, there's even music streaming services like Spotify, um, or, or, wh or whatever it may be, yeah, whatever it is in the region. And I think cloud gaming is going to take a very similar type of market is. You're going to be able to opt in to say, I would like to subscribe to a game network, and you're going to get a library of games you can play. Um, at, at some point, they may say uh, they're going to cycle in games every month, so they might be a game that's no longer going to be available, but you could have the option to say, hey, I'd like to keep playing that game. You might pay an extra couple dollars a month, or you may even just have the option to buy it outright then. Excellent, so that sounds like a good model to go ahead and do. Uh, what's the time frame for deployment? Well, like I said, it's happening now. Um, there, the grid hardware is going around the world right now. You can get access to grid servers to test it from Ubitus. Uh, you can test it in Korea. You can test that uh, here in the US. Um, you'll be able to test other partners like Playcast and um, uh, G Cluster. You can experience their servers in Europe. Uh, like It's happening now. Uh, I would just say keep checking our website. We'll post all of our partner trials, where you can get access to it, and try it uh, all on our website. So you got it. This is Lord Nod, and I have to go ahead and tell you, this sounds so phenomenal. I can now play all my favorite games on any device I want at any time. This is such a cool development. And you heard it right here. This is NVIDIA going and bringing us cool stuff. This is Lord Nod signing off at E3.